Hey, what's up, everybody? We're three days away from the release of Guilty Gear Strive, and I want to let you guys know I have a TikTok account. So if you guys want to follow that, um, it's basically going to be used for all types of tips, clips, stuff like that. So if you want to get some good tips on Guilty Gear Strive, I'll definitely follow this account. Um, also, I have a new microphone. Uh, you're going to see in this video, my microphone's a little bit off. Um, I was making some adjustments with the audio, so there's going to be a little bit of an echo, but it should be fine. I've been uh, adjusting it daily, trying to find out the best settings for the microphone. But uh, that's it. Enjoy the video, guys. <laughs> By the way, like slight slight announcement. Not really an announcement by me, but uh look at the the bottom right, HyperX. Look at that. That's them. This is me. We sponsored by HyperX. Powered by HyperX. So um I wanted to do a tier list because I have no more ideas until Strive comes out of what to make for videos. And I wanted to put a video out this week because I haven't put anything out recently, so I thought it'd be appropriate to do maybe a tier list, just some something generic, you know, but a little bit of a twist. I'm only going to do the games I've played in tournament for. Um, no games that I haven't. So we're going to go on the list. It's a pretty big list. Um, there might be some games I'm missing, but eh, this is, it'll be good enough, I think. Let's start off. We're on the list. I did not play this. I did play Aquapause in tournament, like once. One time I did. Uh... This game is like kind of fun. I, I probably would put it C2 though. It's not a great game. It's not a mean game, but the game's kind of broken. I did play the best character in the game. I think her name was Chizuru. Chizuru, I brought the assist, but uh, cause it's, so it's a one, so it's a one character and an, and an assist kind of game, which is like kind of unique. I don't think there's any game that has one character or one assist, but I did play this game in tournament uh, at one time. Um, it's okay. It's it's an okay. I do like the game, but I'm I'm more rating these games off of like how they play in tournament, like gameplay wise, not like aesthetics or like what features they have. I'm talking about like just straight up. I'm in a tournament. How do I feel about the game? All right. So next game, we're skipping a bunch here. Next one be Blaze Blue. I played Blaze Blue a couple times. Not, not another game that I played a lot, but I I played a few times in tournament. Um. I guess we're raking on Central Fiction since it's probably the game I played the most in tournament. Probably that and the, what was it? Uh, I think Corona Phantasm, Corona Phantasm, whatever. I forgot what it's called. CB, CP, CP. Uh, but we're raking off of CF, Central Fiction. This game is pretty good. I do gotta say the game is pretty good. I do like me some Blazer, even though I'm not the best player. I'm not like the biggest Blazer head. I do like this game a lot. It's it's a fun game. It's a pretty good game. There, I can't give it S. There definitely some balance issues overall but the game's pretty good i gotta give love to blazer it's a pretty good game next up on the list oh i wish i did play this game in tournament but i never did i do like this game though if i had to give it a ranking i'd probably give it like a b or an a but never played in tournament so i can't count it this i did play in tournament <laughs> oh boy cross oh i almost said cross tag battle no 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 so you better cross tech in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, I'm gonna give it a B. I'm gonna give it a B. I, okay, so like the early versions of the game are pretty bad. They're not great. However, the later versions of the game is pretty good. 2013 version is a pretty good game. I, I remember watching a lot. Even when I stopped playing this game in tournament, uh, I did watch it a lot because I thought the game was in a pretty good state. I think most people agree that the 2013 version of this game is actually like the true game. It's what should have been on release, and it probably would have saved the game for more, for a lot more years. But I'll give it a B. It, it was all right, I think. I, I liked it for what it was. I wish I did play the version 2013 a little bit more, but it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. It's an okay game, I think. All right, next game on the list. Oh, Dive. <laughs> I didn't play this game in tournament, and I've also won... I've also won in tournament in this game. Uh, where do I even rank this game? It's not a, it's not a bad, it's, I mean, I, I'll give it a B, it's okay. I had fun playing in tournament. It's kind of a meme game though. It's a little bit of a meme game. It's not, <laughs> it's not my finest achievement in winning Dodge tournaments. 
It's an okay game, I think. All right. Oh, BB, BB tag. I I do not like this game. I think this game is pretty horrid. I think even probably right now the game isn't too bad, but like early on, oh my god. People used to get so mad. At this. I used to get so mad at this game too. This game was so trashy in the beginning, early versions. It just felt like anybody and everybody is going to rob you in that game, especially if they're playing the the a good team, especially you know Gordo Ruby or Ruby Gordo. I feel like that game was just such a, like so highway robbery tier, like like playing that game in tournament is so whack it's not the worst game i ever played but i definitely wouldn't play it again that's for sure i'm not enthusiastic to play some bb tag not a fan not a fan of bb tag oh dragon ball i'm gonna move dragon ball up here for a second i'm gonna save this for last probably because dragon ball is probably my most successful game um i mean i've also played the longest not not of not out of any fighting game but like the game that I had the most success in, that I've also played the longest of these. Um, we'll skip. We'll skip Dragon Ball for now. We'll come back to Dragon Ball. Fourteen, KO fourteen. Another game that is trash. I hate this game. I think the game is mad boring, and I've also won tournaments in this game too. Um, I think Max Mode is trashy. Um, the characters in the game are so. A lot of the characters in the game are so bare bones. I'll give you an example, right? So I, at one point, I was playing. I think I was playing Iori, Ramon, Shune, right? And Ramon had one combo that people discovered like day one. I remember I did it day one too. I, I saw it on Twitter and I tried to copy it and it was pretty easy enough. I don't know. I don't know if it's till this day, but like years after the game, Ramon had the same one combo and it was his most optimal combo. The one combo that was found day one was the best combo for, for like a while, for like at least a year. A year two, nobody could figure out a better combo because he just some characters in the game just lack versatility, like completely. On top of the, the balancing issues early on in the game, um, characters would just do some absurdly dumb shit, especially in max mode. Max mode is so lazy in comparison to other, like you know, HD mode and stuff like that. And KOF 13, it, it's it's a boring, it's a boring ass game. I know KOF fans like it, but as someone who's not really a KOF player. I, I don't really like the game. It's mad boring. I think the game is hella dry. It also looks ugly, but we're not going to rank it on on the aesthetics. As a, as a gameplay, as a tournament game, it's pretty whack, I think. The game is hella boring. The game is hella boring. It lacks so much depth. Depth. Oh, boy. MBCI. Uh, MBCI. Okay. This game is this game is pretty trashy. However, I do I at least gotta give it to C for one reason. That game has does have legacy skill in it, and it, it's such a weird game because like obviously I played in the beginning. For a game like that, for a game like MCI that almost. I think like half or more than half the cast was like pretty much broken. Like they were so insane. Of course, Dante was like, was way, 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 way better than everybody else. But like half the cast had some absurdly broken shit. So it kind of evens out when, when more than half the cast is broken, it like evens out the balancing of the game to some degree. Obviously it's not great, but I think I have to at least give it a C tier on two merits. One, the game has legacy skill. Um, and two, the game has some sort of balancing in the way of a lot of the characters were broken in the beginning. So a lot of characters end up being fun because of that. There, there was a, there was quite a bit of team variety. Of course, Dante, you, you would like mostly run Dante on every team because he was so insane. But you can get away with not having Dante, and you can also get away get away with having a lot of different characters, because a lot of characters were just, just broken in the beginning. Like they had so much, like characters were so absurd in the early days of MVCI. I I gotta at least give it the C tier. Next game, Street Fighter Five. Street Fighter Five. 
I'd probably give it I'd probably give it like a B tier, like a high B, I think. Like close to A. I mean right now it's probably an A tier. It's a pretty solid game. But I mean just the increments of that game is crazy. Like from year one to year five, the game improved a lot. I mean five years a long time though. That that's why like I'm I'm I don't want to give it an A. Because yeah, they did get the game right eventually. Like the game's pretty solid overall now. But it did take five years. Five years is a long ass time. And I like the game for a bit. I I mean, it's Street Fighter. I like Street Fighter. Um I've even I've won tournaments. Early on I won some tournaments and like I got some pretty high placings and some really, really like high number tournaments. Because everybody was playing the game at the time, of course. But um I think it's an okay. I think now, like, if I was gonna read like arcade edition, arcade edition, I'd probably give it this. But like, it isn't. It, it's an entirety. I can't give it an A. It's. It. It took too long for it to be like a pretty good game. All right. Next up, we got ooh, Super Turbo. Super Turbo. I love this game. This is okay. We do have to make a new tier. We actually, we actually had to make a new tier. We'll do this at the end. Top five. I'm gonna give it top five. Definitely. Top, I love this game. I play this game in tournament a bunch. Um, of course, I got a side tour. I'm not, I'm not 40 years old, so you know, I wasn't playing the game at its core. But you know, I, I picked up the game like a a, a while ago. Um, whenever there's like side tournament for for Super Turbo, and I have time, I usually play it. I'm pretty decent at the game. Um, I play Claw and DJ. Um, I've gotten second place at DT. I forgot what year it was. I think it was like 2016, 2017 maybe. I got top two. I lost to Guile twice. I was playing uh, I was playing Claw. I think most. I think I switched to, to DJ in Grand Finals, but I lost to Guile twice. I lost to two different. I wasn't even the same Guile. I lost to a Guile. Got the sent to losers bracket, and then another Guile got the Grand Final that I lost anyway. So. Um, that was my best achievement, is getting second place in an ST tournament. Um, but yeah, I love this game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I can play this game for hours. Hours and hours. Alright, next game. Ooh, Unist. Unist, Unist, Unist. I like this game, low-key. I thought the game was pretty trashy in the beginning when it was like just Uni. But Unist, um, the game's pretty fun. I play Chaos. I play it in a couple tournaments. Um, I played in I played Uni and then Unist. I played maybe like three, four tournaments. I think. Um, I like the game. It, it, it definitely. I put more time into it than Blazebrew, I would say, but um, not them. I put a couple months in. I think of of Unist. Um, it's it's a fun game. I like the game. I think tournament wise, it's pretty clean. Um, you know, it, it's a kind of game I like in the aspect of you have to know how to fight characters pretty well um you can't just kind of ignore matchups maybe i mean maybe you could in certain characters but uh I, I like that aspect of of character driven like fighting games where like you have to know the matchups you can't just like bulldoze people um as long as the character balance is like decent like you have to know like the intricacies of like character matchups i like that about fighting games so that's why i give it an a i like the game it's fun it's a fun game to play Okay. Ooh. Guilty Gear Exerd. Oh man. This game, this game, this game, this game. Uh, uh I got I gotta give it okay, it's not as bad as these two. These are probably I okay, I'd probably give it here. It might be because I played this game longer, so I have bias. This is probably the game I played the longest. Outside of, like, Street Fighter 4, this is the game I played the longest in tournament for. Um, this game this game is rough. There's a lot of... There was a lot of cheap nonsense in all the versions of, of Exert. Um, there was a lot of painful moments in this game, too. But this is probably where I started to, like, get pretty damn good at fighting games it was probably during this game because i played this game a shit ton i played this game so much and it's probably the game i played the longest like 
like really focusing to try to get better at a fighting game was this game so i do owe this game a lot in that aspect but it is a it is a trashy game for sure <laughs> exert's not a great fighting game it's fun that it's like but tournament wise i definitely had some moments where i wanted to i wanted to fucking bang my head into a wall but it could be i just played it for so long i played the game for like three four years so i played all the iterations from exert to to the end right exert to rev 2 i played them all rev 2 i hate the most if i had to give it just rev 2 i would put it here but all of exert i i'd probably give it a c it, it, it's like close to a B. I I can't give it average. I can't give it like an average experience. I I can't say like I was like, eh, hey, it's okay. I've I've had way more like like anger moments in this game than than happy moments. It's probably a little bit more anger than 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 happiness. Ah, <sighs> next game, next game, next game. Oh, Injustice One. <laughs> yeah, this game is <laughs> this game is terrible. This game is really bad. Um, I mean, what can I say about the game? Superman, Aquaman, Interactables that just did way too much damage. You know, stiff ass movement. Like, god awful matchups. <laughs> this game is pretty bad. I played Batman. I, I played Batman and Aquaman a lot, I think. Um, I think I played like one of the characters, but those are probably the two characters I played the most. It was definitely Batman Aquaman. Um, so, you know, I had good characters, for sure. Uh, I never won a tournament in this game, but, yeah, this game is bad. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> Injustice 1 is rough. That is a rough-ass game. Injustice 2, not as rough. I actually, I actually, like, present, pleasant, oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 this is not Injustice 2. Where's Injustice 2? Now that, like, I picked it up, now I have to do Injustice 2. Is this not Injustice 2? I don't see Injustice... Where is Injustice 2? It has to be here. It's not in order. I'm gonna... Wait, is... Where the hell is it? Now I'm, like, looking because... Alright, okay. We'll say this is Injustice 2. Oh, no. That was Injustice 2. Oh, okay, okay. My bad. Alright, never mind. Pause. This is Injustice 1. Injustice 2 is, like, up here, I think. I actually did like Injustice. I didn't play that many tournaments for Injustice 2, but I, when I played, it was pretty fun. I It was way better than the first one, for sure. Like, way, way, way better than the first one. I still played Batman, um, and he was pretty similar overall for his Justice 2 form. There, there's definitely some changes, but like, I think his kit stayed the same for the most part, from what I can recall. I like Injustice 2 a lot. I think it was a pretty solid game. I didn't love it, love it, but... It definitely gets a pass in my book. I think it's a pretty solid game. Um, now I lost my. Okay, never mind. Uh, never played thirteen. Never played ninety eight. I wish I played ninety eight. I wish I played both these games. I wish I played thirteen and ninety eight KOF, but never playing tournament, so I can't give it a rating. Ooh, Melty Blood. Ooh, 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 ooh. Melty Blood. Oh, I love this game. I remember, so I, I played this game when the Steam version came out. Um, I started getting into it. I played a little bit before the Steam version, but like when the Steam version came out, everyone was like, yo, Melty, Melty. I was like, damn, I kind of want to play Melty. So like, I used to go to New York a lot and I used to play against um, some pretty good Melty Bell players. So I learned the game very fast. Um, I played in tournaments a bunch of times. Um, I really love this game. It has one of my favorite characters of all time, like in fighting games in general. Crescent Moon Alco is is probably my favorite fighting game character ever. She has like everything I like in a fighting game character. So, I do love I love me some Melty Blood. I can't wait for the new one. Hopefully, they keep it like I I, I want it to be like pretty legacy heavy. I want it to stay very similar and true to to Melty Blood fashion. I, oh man, I wish I played this game in tournament. MKX? Holy. But I did not. Marvel 3. Uh, I was pretty young when I played Marvel 3, so it could be a little bit of bias, but I did enjoy this game a lot. Um, I wasn't good at it, but I played in quite a bit of tournaments. And I do like this game. So, I, I, played, I played a couple teams, but I think the main team I was playing was... Um, 
was the uh, I guess Team Scrub. I mean, there's a couple Team Scrubs, but I was playing PR Rogs team, which is Wolverine, uh, la, 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 Wolverine, uh, Doom Virgil. I played Wolverine Doom Virgil probably the most. I think the second most I played, I played Spencer Virgil Hawkeye, which is like one of the Ipes' teams. Uh, I used to copy teams. I, I wasn't really. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I was like a child, so like I didn't really, you know, I wasn't that creative. I didn't. I didn't play super hard characters, you know. I was only like 14, 15, trying to learn fucking Magneto combos. Hell no, I'm good. I played. I played simple characters. Simple yet effective. I like this game. Marvel three. Marvel three. A sick game. I probably would put it lower. Maybe I'd put it lower if I was a little older. But I don't know. A little bit of a bias, but it is what it is. Hmm. Oh, P4E. Wait, is it P4A? Do I have P4A here? Or is it just this? Okay, it's just this. Oh, oh, this game is tough, man. This game is so brutal. And I played Kanji of all characters. So, like... Oh, but it, it's hard because the Persona bias, like, takes over. Like, I, I'll give it a B. I'll give it a B. I think the game is dope. But, like, P4A is... P4 is kind of broken. P4A is kind of broken. And P4U is wildly stupid. So, I, I I can't give it an A for tournament. Kanji, I, I was young. I, I was also a child when I played the game. So, like, man, the, the Persona 4 bias definitely gets to you. But I'll, I'll give it a B. I'll be fair and give it a B. I do, like, I like, I have fun with the game, but... There's always, like, a part of me that doubts myself in, like, thinking, like, if this game wasn't Persona, would I like the game as much as I did? Like, maybe not, you know? I always think about in this game, like, if this game didn't have Persona, would I like it as much? You know? <sighs> What's next? What's next? We're getting to the end. We're getting close. We're getting close. Tekken didn't play any Tekken in tournament. Fighting her, I did not play fight. I wish I did. I would probably put it up there. Maybe S. I this game is sick. If you ever play Fighting Herds, this game is really sick. Okay, I mean, come on, Street it's Street Fighter, it's Street Fighter Four. Do I, do I even have to mention? Do I even have to like give a reason why? It's it's motherfucking Street Fighter Four. Come on. Yeah, I like this game. I wouldn't even be here if this game didn't exist. I would have like a doctor's. I would have like a doctor's degree if this game didn't exist. <laughs> I'd be like successful and shit. But I played. I played hell of Street Fighter Four. You got a little Street Fighter Four. Okay, I have a top five, but I don't have five games. Grand Blue isn't on here, which is like I put Grand Blue here. I would put Grand Blue here if if it like. <laughs> If it was here. Um, I think that's it. Oh, this game. Oh, oh. I played this game in tournament. I've also won. A, not a lot, but like. I've won like three or four tournaments in for this game. For Yada Garasu. This game is pretty bad. Um, it's just boot like Third Strike, low key. <laughs> like, it really is just bootleg ass third strike um <laughs> it, it, it's fun it's kind of fun kind of I, I played a funk character what's up what's up i played kind of a funk character but you know <laughs> this game's not good it's not a great it's not a good game damn that's it huh i'm missing i'm missing grand blue though there's no grand blue here what other game that I want to put in top five? I was I like I had it in my head and I forgot now because Grand Blue is in here. Top four in Grand Blue. Okay, we'll put top four in Grand Blue versus. I'm trying to think. My top five favorite fighting game. Oh, I mean it would be Persona, but like as a tournament game, it, I probably wouldn't put it there. Um, we have to go back to Dragon Ball though. Dragon Ball. 
Ha. Ah. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball. I'm going to give it the dead center. I'm going to give it a B. I'm gonna, no matter how many... I, I hate this game. I do hate this game a lot. But... Um, it's not that bad. It's not that, that bad. Um, I think... I don't know what it is about Dragon Ball. For some reason, even though they make the game really difficult, not di I mean, not difficult for, for like experienced players, but like they make it hard for you to win, essentially. Like the game is like designed in a way where like, no matter how good you are, like you're still gonna struggle to to win. Like the game wants the, the game wants every match to be close, which is like, infuriating in a way but for some reason like the legacy like a legacy skill as a, of a fighting game player still manages to do well in this game i don't know what it is because like look at the people that were really good at the game goichi he's mad old he plays mad fighting games fenrich he's the god of blaze blue um blah, 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 blah. sonic fox he plays mad uh, they play mad games right um the kill sage he plays mad games um, I play mad games. Um, in the cloud, 805, Nakio, Lord Knight, um, all the JP players, Kazunoko, Tachika. Like, I, I don't know what it is. The game somehow allows, like, veteran fighting game players to still do well. It's it's strange for 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 some reason. It just so happens to be that way. Because if it was a game, so like, this would be the equivalent. This is what like Dragon Ball should be. It should be like over here with Blaze Blue. With BB Tag, because the game should just rob you all the time, right? That's why I see BB Tag. BB Tag just robs you all the time. All the time you're getting robbed. But for some reason, Dragon Ball isn't like that, even though it feels like it should be. But it isn't. So I gotta give it a B, at least. I I, I can't give it an A, but I'll give it a B. I'll at least give it a B. Um, alright, but that's it for the tier list though. Let me double check. Um.